CAO Extreme, sponsored by Monster Energy Drink and Game Review. Hey, Ryan, you okay? And this is Cigar Vlog. No, this is not actually sponsored, but this is the CAO Extreme, and they like to tell you everything about the cigar on the wrapper. Ecuadorian Habana Ligero by wrapper, filler, Nicaraguan Ligero, Honduras Ligero, you can, fuck it, you can read. This one was well, a little trickier. It's a quad blend, a uh, Ligero, quad Ligero blend. So we'll see exactly how this turns out. Honestly, the uh, particularly over the top marketing and gigantic footband, you know, it, it kind of, every so often, I kind of want to start wondering, see you. Who exactly is the target demographic for this? Because most of the guys that are going to be uh, still doing EXTREME in 2022 are probably going to be more the uh, Mountain Dew and Doritos type as opposed to the Kit Back with a Cigar type. Just kind of pointing that out there. Anywho, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this cut, torched. Hopefully everything will actually turn out fine. A little scrap off of there. And, -da. Don't get me wrong, I like the little, you know, the more modern branding and uh, label appeal and all that. But I think that uh, Camacho kind of scored a little more hardcore on that with modern branding and licensing but big bold colors and a simple design that was still modern and effective whereas well you saw that foot band that's a little over the top is it soup yet oh, yeah, yes yes it is okay so right off the bat There's a bicyclist, and I'm going to say, no spice, which is good. I'm going to say kind of a uh, coffee, coffee, slight cocoa. Not noticing anything earthy right off the bat. A little bit of baking spice. Overall, not bad. Good start. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this down at the first inch and hope that my light wasn't screwed up. Three bicycles later. Okay, so halfway point, you ask you to spell off naturally. So far, striking me very much as a very strong espresso flavor. <coughs> <coughs> ah, went right up my nose. Yeah, not cool. Anyway, like I said, uh, very, very strong espresso notes. Uh, you know, very dark coffee. A little bit of spice, a little, little bit of sweet. But. Only thing, I, only thing I can imagine pairing this with is something like either a very high quality coffee or a whiskey cocktail, like an old fashioned or a Manhattan, something like that. Something that's going to have a little bit of bitters in it with a baking spice kind of, kind of note. Burn has been questionable, as it were. Uh, I've had to do several touch ups just because, well, the wrapper itself is apparently a ghetto. So, uh, it's going to have a bit of a wank to it. That's it, as long as you don't mind touching up here and there, it's actually not bad. It seems to be trying to autocorrect, so. Retro hail basically doubles down on the mouth. Occasionally, I want to say there's like a slight, like, fruity chocolate note in the, in the, in the retro hail. Honestly? I'm kind of thinking they should probably rebrand this and uh, instead of calling it a CAO Extreme, focus more around towards uh, you know, the gourmet coffee shop kind of experience. Gourmet coffee, gourmet chocolate, something like that. Oh, the water. Never fails. It's the first nice day in like months where it's like not just ass meltingly hot outside. Everybody's out going for a walk. Walking the dog, riding the bike, not that they stopped doing that before, but you know. At least now they're not going to be dying in order to do it. Ooh, that's a big old dragonfly. Anyway, I'm going to get this down in the nub, yank the band, and uh, hopefully this will not end up sticking to the wrapper. 
Well, that's what it looks like an up, don't you? So far, flavors have been pretty consistent throughout the entire cigar. That said, a little spicy. Real dark coffee-ish, kind of like espresso coffee, or a strong coffee note. Occasionally a little cocoa, like a dark chocolate cocoa. Every so often, Retro Hill have a slight fruitiness, as opposed to just kind of doubling down on whatever the overall mouth flavor is. Overall, aside from some weird burn issues, not bad. CEO is one of those brands that tends to be kind of hit or miss. Some of them are real good, some of them kind of eh. This one's kind of, it kind of hits, but, um, Burn issues can be annoying, and I will admit it's got probably some of the most obnoxious banding I've seen in a while. And there's a guy over there walking and giving me the stink eye. Anyway, if you're into big legato heavy cigars, this would be not a bad choice. And there's one of the CEOs that actually kind of stands out as being one of their better lines. Just, uh, I kind of wonder if maybe they need to tweak the blend a little bit to uh, have a little bit more consistent burn. That or if I just need to figure out a better way to light. <laughs> Probably a lighter. Anywho, not much else to say other than uh, pair with a good strong coffee or some kind of whiskey cocktail with bitters, specifically Angostura. <sighs> kind of doubles down on the uh, occasional baking spice notes that you get in this. Anywho, bug, get away from me. Get away from me, B. Mm. Eat that. I'm smoking a cigar. You'd think that the bee would be like, bah, 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 fire, go, go. Yeah. Instead, no, they keep trying to flight my nose. I don't know why. Anyway, not much else to say about this. Other than definitely check it out. Anywho, if you like this cigar or any other cigar, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch stream. Sunday night to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, they will eventually be on YouTube, and I will remember to put the link to that page on the description. Well, not the, not, not the video description, on the page. It'll be similar when I remember. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.